everyone and welcome to the Clean Water Minute. I'm Sam Briggs and I'm the Save Our Streams Manager at the Isaac Walton League. And today we're going to talk through some of the stuff that I tend to forget when I go out to monitor or train new monitors um, and why you need that stuff. So first and foremost, safety. Um, always bring a first aid kit. It's easy to remember or to forget because nobody really expects anything to go wrong out there. But, you know, just a simple one with some band-aids and whatnot is important to have in case, you know, you run into any issues. Along that realm, um, you know, bug spray and sunscreen. Very important for staying, you know, safe outside. Um, I'm known to get sunburned when it's 50 degrees out, even if the sun is out. So I am always wearing sunscreen. Bug spray, the only thing to note, you can spray it all over yourself. Make sure it's not on your fingers and your hands for when you're picking through those bugs. That's important because, you know, we put them back in the stream live. We don't want to harm them before we do that. Uh, hand sanitizer is another important piece there. Just so when you're done monitoring, you can put some on your hands, you know, clean them up. So until you can get inside and then wash your hands a little more thoroughly. It's just another safety piece, especially if you're in urban streams. You know, you never know what could be in your stream. On top of that, disposal methods. This is my number one forgotten tool that I never bring into the stream and I always wish I had it. Um, when we do our chemical test kits, you have waste that comes from these. You have uh, the wastewater from our phosphate kits, you have you know your test strips, you have your ampules, and you want to make sure that you have a nice contained place to hold all that. If you just use a plastic bag, one, you wouldn't really be able to capture that water, that wastewater from our phosphate kits, and our ampules are sharp. So it can poke through that bag and you're not going to have that contained waste. So you want to make sure, I've used a, a water bottle in the past, just an empty water bottle. Uh, Tupperware is fine, and this way you can bring it back inside. You can dump the water into the sink so it'll get filtered, and then throw the rest of this into the landfill. But it helps transport that. Another thing I forget, my plastic tablecloth. You can also use a sheet, just a white sheet. Um, this is to lay down on your table, so when you put your net on top, if bugs go through your net, which they often do, they're not going to slide through your table and onto the ground. If we want to make sure we're counting all those bugs, we want to be able to capture them on our tablecloth here. These can be reused, too. These are our single-use, uh, like, these are, like, birthday party tablecloths. You can reuse these. Um, so we just rinse them off and put them in our kit again, so don't feel like you have to throw this out every time. It's definitely reusable. And finally, an empty spray bottle. Uh, we fill this with stream water when we're out at our site, and that way you can spray down your bugs. Um, that, you know, when it's really, really hot out, the extra water will help keep them alive and keep them moving so we can pick them out easier. And then if it's cold out and they're getting dried up, spraying them will help them move so we can really spot them even when they're slowing down. Uh, really easy tool. You can't use just like a cup of water to dump on there because it'll wash your bugs off of your table. You really want a fine misting spray bottle. Uh, we like these big ones because they have a nice bigger tube. That way, you know, if there's a little bit of sediment in your water, it can still spray. If you have something that mists too fine, it's going to get clogged up. So you want to make sure you're using stream water in this though, not tap water, not water that you brought from another site because you want something that your bugs are already used to. Uh, you can visit iwla.org slash SOS for more info on our monitoring protocols. It's a great time to do some chemical monitoring, to sign up for SaltWatch, iwla.org slash SaltWatch, and you can get out there and do some winter monitoring. Otherwise, you can start planning for the future. Where are you going to monitor in the spring? Who's going to be on your team? Things to start thinking about, even though it feels really early right now. Uh, tune in next week for another Clean Water Minute. We're back on our cycle here. Um, and we will see you then. Thanks.